I want to thank to Spencer releasing that brand new Coraline backpack that's exclusive to them because if it had not been for that, I can't tell y'all when I would have ever went into this store, but I'm happy I did and they had some bags I want to show you all. I must say that this store is quite interesting. Saw some things that I surely wasn't expecting to see. Maybe I should have asked my girl Crystal for more details when it came to this store. But here's the first bag I'm going to show you all. You all see some of the bags at the top. But here we have the SpongeBob backpack. Some of these bags are going to be a first for me for us putting it in my video. And this bag right here, the Spongebob one, I don't think i ever seen this in person. So that's always a great thing. I haven't watched Spongebob in a while. And I used to watch Spongebob a lot. I even have it on DVD, I believe. Y'all look, I used to be buying DVDs like it was no other back in the day. Now I ain't really hipped up on it. A bag I have never seen. We have Rick and Morty. And I believe that this bag here is a Spencer exclusive. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. If you are familiar with Spencer. Like I said, this is my first time being in this store. Which means your girl Sweet Wheels might need some assistance when it comes to this here right here. I really like this bag. I don't have any Rick and Morty bag. Only thing I have is the Rick Funko Pop. I have the Common and the Chase. Yeah, I think it's a Spencer's, but it's also by BioWorld. BioWorld ain't playing. I done told y'all once before. Now look a hill, look a hill, look a hill, look a hill, look a hill. Y'all see it, you see it. The reason why I came up in here to pick up my Coraline backpack, because I ordered mine online, but this one particular store, which is in the Baybrook Mall, they had it available in store. The other stores, they didn't show in store, which I wish it would have been closer, but you know what? I ain't been to this mall in a while, and that was just an excuse to get out there. I know they got two other Coraline bags. G Treasure has the exclusive and Martin Pinup has the exclusive, but those really didn't do it for me. So I'm really happy to see this one. This bag also does glow in the dark and dreams aren't dangerous. Speak for yourself because the ones I be having, you know, the ones where you be trying to fight to get up. I don't like those. Them the worst ones. But we have this rug rats bag. The first time I ever seen this bag in store. Now, in this particular store I was in, that joker was starting to get kind of busy, which means where the bag was at behind me, they had like the earrings type of stuff, you know, that type of thing. And they had somebody actually spinning it around while I'm right there knocking my bag, you know. And lucky I'm, you know, just as humble as I tried to be. And I probably was in their way. But still, I was like, okay, let me scoot up and up and do this video and get from over here. Because I'm actually in the pathway of, of others too. Now, they had some other bags. But like I said, y'all, where I was at, it was just like constant traffic. And I was trying to do this video and just get from over here and go to the other spot. Which I'm going to show you all some other bags. But we still on these bags and we have this brand new Harry Potter bag that I have yet to see. When it comes to the Harry Potter bags, there aren't so many bags that I don't like. I may not get them all, but that don't mean I don't like them. I just have to be steady, steady as a beating drum. How many of you all enjoyed the last Fantastic Beast movies? I know Johnny Depp wasn't in there, but I think oh boy did an amazing job. That's just my opinion. I mean, I like him as an actor, and he really plays those type of roles really well. Correction, the last Fantastic Beast movie, not movies. Y'all got to excuse me sometime. My accent is just being his own little world. Lounge fly, we're going to need a Sonic bag, and I want him to have some type of fur on it. I'm just putting my two or three cents in there. We have the Stitch crossbody bag, and we have this brand new Stitch bag. I believe it's exclusive to this store. I'm not sure on who the company is. If y'all have that information down below, there'll be Stitch that's biting on this juicy donut. I can go for a good sweet right now. Put that down below in the comment section. We have Pikachu along with Eve and this Chucky bag. First time seeing this bag in the store. And why they had the Chucky doll in there too? I know my editing sucks, but y'all, this is the actual doll that was in the store. I just had to, you know, clear everything else out that was in the background. Now, I know a lot of collectors are still interested in this one. So, if you all are interested in it, I would say go to Spencer's website. They may just have this online. Also, you can go ahead and check loungefly.com and type in Chucky just to see if they might decide to restock this one because you just never know. On the back, it got Wanna Play. We got this Nightmare Before Christmas bag. It's actually two bags, but I'm only going to show you all the one I'm showing you all right now. And I actually like this one a whole lot. It's just so cute how they got Jack holding his own head. Just a reminder, don't forget Stitch is releasing tomorrow, which is June 26th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on loungefly.com. 
I'm still waiting on that green, that lime green exclusive limited edition of a thousand carabara bag to go on sale on loungefly.com, loungefly. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you all this beautiful, colorful bag instead. Listen, y'all, they got folks out there that don't know nothing about Saturday morning cartoons and how you didn't like getting up to go to church on Sunday and then what's hard for you to get out of bed on Monday. It's just people just don't understand what we went through. While you all checking out this pop version of the Nightmare Before Christmas bag, Look, I don't know what was back in the air back in the day when I was going to school in the 80s and 90s, but nobody I knew got sick. Nobody. I don't know what's going on now. That was the only way you could stay home if you got sick. I was one of those kids when you got sick, you had chicken noodle soup, crackers, ginger ale, or 7-Up. It was one of them. Oh, mainly 7-Up for me. And if you ain't had 7-Up, you get Sprite. I don't know what type of psychological crap they was able to pull on us. For some reason, 7-Up or Sprite did the job. You felt a whole lot better. And Garfield is right. I never met a lasagna I didn't like. Because my mama, she makes some good lasagna. Finally got to see this bag in person. I have seen pictures that folks have posted on social media of Spencer's having this bag. But to see it in person, I like it. Now, I only have one SpongeBob bag in my collection. That's Sandy cosplay bag and i love it have no regrets on getting that baby but this here would probably be if i had to go for a second bag i may and i just might come back and get this joke we just gonna have to see i'm gonna need some coupons at this point i'm talking about paying for a price what's wrong with me here we have the back of the bag jumping jellyfish you never know how fast you can run until you get in some salt water and you feel like a jellyfish then hit your leg listen that was the fastest i ever ran in water up to my knee no the fastest i ever ran i might have to tell y'all a story about hurricane katrina yes i was one of those people that was actually there five or six days after the storm i had to walk from my job that i had all the way to the convention center sorry y'all can't see the back too good but they had tape on the back of the scraps but yeah i had to walk from there all the way to the convention center with water up to my waist but i'll probably talk about that some other time here's another brand new pokemon triple zipper bag they really come in with it with pokemon it's either a cosplay bag or they doing triple zipper or just a regular all over print bag look i'm all for it when it comes to pokemon i just don't have too many bags and i still want a meow bag i ain't letting that down lounge fly I hope y'all can see this really well on the back. Let me tell you something. This store here has the same light and it's hot topic. This ain't no box lunch light. It ain't that bright. It's just enough. All right. I see we got upside down Tigger. And um, Lounge Fly, I want you to come in real quick. Just come on. Just come. Scoot up. Scoot up in your chair. Get your drink. Don't spill it. And um, listen, you did awesome with upside down Stitch. Matter of fact, my store that I went to, actually restocked on upside down stitch and i'm expecting that joker to be gone even before box lunch money begins but yeah i i, I yeah i'm gonna go ahead and leave that right there you, you you get what i'm saying we understand each other now this here is my girl natalie favorite pokemon so i'm definitely gonna make sure she watched this video so she can see her favorite in the video and here we have the back of the bag gotta move the scrap so y'all can see the 197 letting you know what time it is just like this time on this bag right here we have this peter pan bag i should have changed the time to midnight right or maybe the time i get off from work you know what i you know what kind of you know not gonna say it grinds my gears but for some reason you be at work with people all day and they like to wait till it's time to go to want to have these conversations i'm not trying to talk i got tunnel vision all i know is off of work get out of there and go home safely that's it i i don't want to we talk about this tomorrow between those eight hours i'm gonna be there you gotta y'all gotta know how to pick your battles and my battle is not to talk to you when it's time to go i like that the bag does glow in the dark and i'm sorry about the pictures on the front of the bag you all the light the way the light was hitting and i got the camera in the bag yeah it was just yeah but i'm hoping you all enjoyed it because that'll be it for my video today and like always if you like this video like this video if you like this video oh my goodness what i'm saying if you like this video what do i normally say i normally say something all right you all so that'll be it for my video today i hope you all enjoyed it and like always if you're watching this video and you had not subscribed to my channel definitely go ahead and subscribe like share and comment on this video also hit that notification bell make sure you click on all so you can be notified whenever i drop the video or community post and until next time sweet willis and other collectors out there take care